We'll show you another example where we name a compound with a multivalent metal. We're asked to name the compound with the formula Au2O. We see that gold has two charges, so it's a multivalent metal. Therefore, a Roman numeral must be used in this name. We know that the name of the metal is gold and it needs a Roman numeral. And we know that the name of the nonmetal is oxygen. But because this is a binary compound, the ending of the nonmetal needs to be changed to ide. So we replace the YGEN by IDE. And the name is gold oxide. In order to find the Roman numeral that goes in here, we must find the charge on one gold ion. Is it positive 3 or positive 1? Here is how we do it. The formula tells us we have two gold ions and one oxide ion. We start with the negative charge. The periodic table tells us the charge on one oxide ion is negative 2. There is only one oxide ion, so the total negative charge is negative 2. Therefore, the total positive charge must be positive 2. For the charges on two gold ions to add up to positive 2, each gold ion must have a charge of positive 1. So we insert the room numeral 1 in the brackets. And the name of this compound is gold 1 oxide.